thank you so very much, Bo Diggity, for that uh, yeah. that, uh, that that little advertisement there. Um, yeah, <laughs> so it's time for another sort of sexy segment. Sure, let's go with that. It's the Indie Minute for this week. And the first thing that I want to talk about in the yeah, world of independent indie wrestling, minute. in the whole world of independent wrestling, is what happened at RWA this past weekend in West Newton, Pennsylvania, with Sorgatron Media. And who asks something better? Who do, who better to ask about something that's related to Sorgatron Media than you, Sorgatron? How was the show? I love how you pulled that together. Um, I, I that, that was pretty tremendous. Um, no, it was a it was a really good show. Um, we we uh, first of all, friends of the show, Jay Ice and G Raver had a great uh, uh, rematch for the for the cruiserweight belt, rekindling their old rivalry. They had some great ladder matches and stuff in the past in the cruiserweight division there. Um, so I, already today, if you want to check out a few clips of it, uh, the RWA wrap up has gone up, uh, with, with, uh, you know, uh, with, with some stuff. Um, also the main event, Lodi, you know, sign guy from WCW that's been hanging out with RWA for about a year now, uh, uh was in title match. And the fun thing was they had a stipulation that if Ryan Edmonds, friend of the show, uh, beater of women, uh, it, 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 uh lost by a DQ, uh, he had to have his long golden locks shaved. Uh, so mm. let's see if I can get a little peek here for you guys on video. Um, actually, here here it is. Uh, so no, it was go- it was fun, and and as always, this crowd proves to be super super insane. You see them there in that clip, like just up against the apron and just going absolutely nuts for this stuff. I'm still. I, I was showing AJ some of this stuff last night. Um, uh, the interactions, the, these guys, uh, as a group, uh, the Ryans, Ryan Mitchell, Ryan Edmonds come out like, you know, two or three times through the night, uh, with the promo and, you know, setting up whatever's going on. And then it's a lot of times they have individual matches and that goes through uh, security has to step in to keep the fans from getting at them. Like, mm-hmm. I love this, this, like, I'm pretty sure they have to be escorted to their car to make sure they're safe. You know, um, that's how far like the old school people are into this uh that is happening with this group and i i think that is one of the coolest experiences in the area going on right now uh from from what i've seen uh so uh it's all at rwalive.com um if you go to their youtube that wrap ups up i'm not sure if they had put this on their page yet it is actually on their is that yeah this it's on their front page right now and they're having a lot of fun i'm working with the guys uh doc and church there um and I want to give a shout out to Ring Ref Church, I believe is his Twitter name. Uh, he's been having a lot of fun with that too, talking about the West Newton River dirt. Uh, uh, follow that uh, to get a good idea what's going on there. And he's actually running for commissioner, apparently, of mm. the group. So uh, if you want to get in on that, uh, that that's a lot of fun. There's videos for for that in our WA uh, over on their Twitter. I'm, I'm sorry, their YouTube. Uh, and we're running sales, and we're trying to run some more sales so people can kind of experience it and, and get into it. We're running a flash sale uh, today. If you're Catch, checking this out later uh last year's bloody harvest we're actually doing for three dollars for digital download uh so i i really think i'm trying to figure out how people uh, uh can experience this um because i think there's an audience for it i just need to connect them digitally and that's been kind of the difficulty lately uh but it, it's a blast i love going out there they're, they're some of the coolest people to work with uh in, in wrestling uh that i have been lately so yeah so awesome. that's RWA, rwalive.com, and they got Bloody Harvest coming up next month. So uh, what else is going on out there, Eamon? Uh, there's stuff going out there in other parts of the world, uh, more specifically Texas, more specifically other stuff that other people of the show are a part of. Uh, big announcements have been made for the next Inspire Pro event. Uh, that is going to be October 13th. We return to the Marchesa Hall and Theater in downtown Austin, Texas, for what is to be a really fun show. Uh, it's going to be the main event of Scott Summers, Ricky Starks, who is a friend of the Wrestling Mayhem show, and Jordan Jensen. The winner of that match fills the final spot in the championship championship three-way match that will feature Davey Vega and one man Mike Dell. Uh, also a lot of huge stuff in that match. A uh, big match that was announced this past week. Uh, Jojo Bravo will be going one-on-one with uh, 
Shikara sort of star. If he, he looks very familiar to a Shikara star. Uh, Ring of Honor star. Uh, one Robert Evans. Uh, it might look familiar. The, it might also look familiar uh, 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 from from SmackDown. I think maybe uh, get, get kind of looked like a guy that got in a bit of an altercation uh, with the Ryback on a, on an episode of SmackDown in Canada. Uh, but yeah, that's going to be a lot of fun. A lot of fun stuff. Uh, we have uh, JT Lamada having one of his uh, very final professional wrestling matches against Andy Dalton in a street fight. Uh, there's going to be Ray Rowe, another friend of the show, taking on Sean Vex. A lot of fun stuff. And uh, Sorg Show there, the great poster that was uh, once again made by our good friend Dustin Nance, mm-hmm. who uh, mm-hmm. is in the chat room currently. Yeah. Um, he produces great stuff for Inspire Pro. You can go check out, if you want some stuff from him, Go. I encourage you to check out Dustin Nance's graphics. Uh, he does a great work on uh, the Inspire Pro posters. Uh, and it's going to be a very exciting night. Also in Inspire Pro news, uh, we got a brand new YouTube channel, uh, in, uh, Inspire Pro on YouTube, which features uh, all the content from our first event uh, j- in July, uh, the beginning. Uh, we do note that uh, uh, if you do check that out, there were, as to expect with the first wrestling show, there were a, a lot of technical problems that happened at our first event. Uh, but we still wanted to get the content out to you guys and uh, show you what it was all about. And uh, definitely down the line, we are looking to give you guys the best product that we can, uh, definitely visually, uh, for everyone uh, looking to follow us on the Internet. So I definitely think uh, when we release stuff from our second show, it's, you're going to see it's going to be a bit better. And I definitely think the upcoming show on October 13th, uh, we're gonna we're gonna start learn from our mistakes and, and get better at that. But still, check it out. Uh, it's crazy. Um, content of stuff that I have commentated is now on the internet. That is kind of insane <laughs> to me. What is that uh, YouTube? Uh, yeah, I believe it's youtubecom slash pro uh, where you can go check that out. Uh, and we got a playlist of all the stuff from the first event. Yeah, it's uh, crazy. I. I uh, if you would like to give me feedback, I definitely encourage that because holy shit. Um, yeah, it, 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 I watched it back today and it's it's crazy to think, you know. I don't think when, it's I don't think it's what you think it, it is. I know if you YouTube or if you search uh, Inspire Pro, it comes up. Uh, um, all right. I want to make sure I get everybody what they're looking for. Yeah, definitely. Um but yeah, that's uh, it's crazy to have that stuff up there. Uh, I'm very proud of you know sort of the work I'm producing with that company, and it's it's been a fun time, and I hope to uh, definitely continue that fun time. Uh, so you can follow us on Facebook, Inspire Pro Wrestling. Uh, follow us on Twitter at Inspire Pro Res for more updates uh, on the event coming up October 13th. So definitely go check them out. Uh, and also in the Texas news, uh, this past weekend was Anarchy Championship Wrestling's event, The Evolution of the Revolution. It was a very fun event. Uh, the big news, though, that did come from that event was the main event between JT Lamana and Jimmy Jacobs uh, that had to end uh, prematurely. Uh, Jimmy Jacobs, uh, JT Lamana had given Jimmy Jacobs a back suplex from the top rope, uh, top turnbuckle, and uh, Jimmy Jacobs uh, uh, went, went unresponsive. Uh, he wasn't responding to the referee. Uh, and uh, he uh, was very – you could tell he was uh, had been knocked out at that point. Uh, we did. I did uh, see an update on their Twitter page saying that Jimmy Jacobs is, is mobile and conscious and um, very well. So uh, send your uh, good well wishes to Jimmy Jacobs, a great uh, pro wrestling athlete who, mm-hmm. uh, you know, even the best of professional wrestlers suffer from some pretty tough injuries. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, so go hey. send some well wishes to Jimmy Jacobs and uh, go check out Anarchy Championship Wrestling. Mm-hmm. And, and super good guy. I worked with him a little bit here a couple months ago, working on that uh, Zach Allen project uh, that, that's still in the works. Um, yeah, yeah, real cool guy. I uh, hope him the best get better there. Absolutely. Uh, the yep. next thing that I want to talk about is some huge developments. Uh, people uh, back in uh, May, I believe, uh, the Chikara stuff uh, that happened, a lot of people thought Chikara was done. A lot of people not knowing, you know, oh, I guess we're transitioning to the wrestling is stuff. But it looks like this Chikara controversy is still continuing uh, from what happened at the Wrestling is Intense event this past weekend in Carbondale, Illinois. Uh, we were scheduled, uh, like halfway through the show, we were to have a match between uh, Jervis Cotton Belly and Dr. Scrouchy where uh, members of Gekido, which was a heel stable that was in Chikara uh, all throughout uh, 2012, uh, representatives uh, 17, Combatant, and Deviant, uh, attacked the ring, uh, held Jervis Cotton Belly pretty much for ransom, um, and basically forced wrestling intents to close. 
Um, so apparently wrestling is intense is no more. Um, and that's interesting because you're so you're seeing some more development um, in uh, of this Chikara storyline in the wrestling is promotions. You're seeing stuff that's still it's still building stuff still happening. And with that and the uh, the Ashes videos that are being released where apparently stuff – it's even playing into stuff like Dragon Gate. Um, some of the stuff that's happening in Chikara is being played out almost there as well. Um, there's a lot of stuff that's happening. So I definitely encourage you, if you're interested in to see this Chikara controversy, this Chikara uh, conspiracy, I hear people call it, uh, keep up with everything wrestling is. Uh, anything you can sort of see that will, I guess, aid to the uh, to the revelation of what is actually going to happen with Chikara, because I'm still very intrigued. And uh, I, po- I yeah, don't can know I what's going to happen. Can I point out here this clip that I was playing while you were talking? As I found on the Wrestling Is Intense website, that's yeah. apparently uh, the local news affiliate uh, had mm-hmm. had a phone interview with the Estonian Thunder Frog in promotion of the event. Yes, indeed, very well spoken man. Uh, yes, he is. I, very, he's a I've, very very well spoken frog. Excuse me. Yes. Um, yes, I, I very, understand. He's aware of uh, uh, international wrestling cartel in Estonia, from what he told me at National Pro Wrestling Day. That, so that's very that was good. that was a revelation for me. Um, well, I mean, he's a he's a he's the Estonian Thunder Frog. He's a man of peace. You know, he 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 drinks his buttermilk. He follows his independent wrestling, and 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 he he keeps up. He's he, that's why he's so good, Sork. Oh, okay. That's why he's so. That's why he's so good. Excellent. So yeah, go follow all Much the respect. wrestling and stuff. Must respect to the Thunder Frogs and Thunder Frogs, uh, the world around. Absolutely. <laughs> so yeah, go follow them. Uh, and the last thing I want to talk about this week is that ROH has an eye pay per view coming up this weekend. Uh, it should be very interesting. Uh, the f- uh, semifinals and the finals of the Ring of Honor uh, World Heavyweight Championship Tournament will be at, at that event. Uh, that's uh, Kevin Steen versus Michael Elgin and Adam Cole versus Tommaso Ciampa. Uh, the winners of those two matches faced off to be crowned the uh, winner of the vacant Ring of Honor World Championship. There's going to be a lot of uh, great uh, talent from IWGP that will be featured at that event. Uh, there should be a lot of fun stuff in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania at the Philadelphia National Guard Armory. Uh, on the 20th. So if you want tickets for that event and go follow Ring of Honor Wrestling, you can go to ROHWrestling.com, get your tickets, go support them, and uh, yeah, go, as, go uh, support all indie wrestling. As, as uh, like Kick TKO is that she mentioned earlier. Yeah, earlier. so if you're in Philadelphia, say how to like Kick TKO. Tell her maybe, maybe she'll read you a poem. That'll be fun. Uh, so yeah, uh, that, my friends, is the Indie Minute for this week. Thank you, and with that...